And welcome back to CVTV News. I understand there's some news about baseball. There is. James Earl Jones, also known as the character Terrence Mann of the 1989 movie Field of Dreams, would be proud. Build it and they will come refers to creating a place to play baseball. Fredericksburg Convention and Expo Center celebrated the groundbreaking for our new local baseball stadium on Sunday, February 24th. The 6,000 seat stadium is due to open April 2020 near the Convention Center and will be the home of single A minor league team, the Potomac Nationals. Fans have already purchased all 13 suites and three year season tickets are rising in sales to over 1,200 fans. That means there are only about 3,800 seats remaining. The deadline for anyone wanting to join the Founders Club is extended to March 1st. Fans do not yet know the new name for the team, but Fredericksburg Baseball plans to hold an online contest at fredericksburgbaseball.com. You can remember that and, and, and do, I think, some names for the team. Yep. To name the organization and open a team store under its new name. The owners will begin construction within the next couple of months and completion is anticipated to be on time. Club owner Art Silver was overwhelmed with a response and stated, we are so fortunate to be here. This is the right place for minor league baseball. The new stadium promises to be a family friendly place to build memories and to watch future baseball stars chasing their dream of playing in the big leagues. In addition, the $35 million privately funded stadium will house concerts, sporting events, a water park, and an ice rink for the city lease of $1.05 million annually for 30 years. Oh, that's great news. Tell me about broadband, David. Well, uh, Congressman Whitman, uh, is uh, very, uh, who represents the 1st District of Virginia, is very active on broadband. Uh, he is the... Uh, co-chair of the Congressional Rural Broadband Caucus. Whitman recently sent a letter to um, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi urging her to include broadband investment in a potential national infrastructure investment package. Hmm. He considers broadband pretty much on the same level as roads, highways, and utilities. Expanding access to broadband is one of Congressman Whitman's highest priorities. Broadband access is a major concern to large parts of our CVTV viewing area. In his letter to Speaker Pelosi, Congressman Whitman said, recently in his State of the Union message, President Trump emphasized the need for legislation to rebuild our nation's infrastructure, which would include ex expanding broadband access to unserved populations of the country. I could not, more, could not agree more, said the Congressman, with the President's comments. With that in mind, I am urging you to prioritize policies in the 116th Congress that will help promote broadband investments and bridge the digital divide between urban and rural America. It is the information highway, so uh, therein is that infrastructure. Well, and uh, that's right, and some people aren't on the information highway. Uh, currently, almost 50% of rural Virginians lack access to high-speed internet, mm. that, and that includes people within our viewing area, and don't have any service to internet, and 29% don't have any access to internet service at all. Red tape and regulations, cost of service, and various geographic obstacles uh, combine to make, promote major hindrances to expanding broadband access in rural areas. Congressman Whitman believes that by addressing these issues and engaging federal agencies and other private stakeholders with localities, we can help bridge the digital divide. Well, we're going to shoot it over to Kara with the weather. What's going on this weekend, Kara? Thanks. Hi, I'm Kara Colucci with CVTV Weekend Weather, and we have got some interesting weather coming your way, Central Virginia. That is right. This may be a case of look outside your window to see what is actually happening. All of the weather models have different things going on. Right now, our best guess is Friday morning. We are going to see highs in the low to mid 30s, and that will give way to an early winter mix in the morning. That's right. It's going to start Thursday night around 2 a.m., which is technically Friday morning and will carry on through, should move in and out of our area relatively quickly, but not without wreaking a little bit of havoc on our roads, our side streets, and of course, our schools. We are looking at a
approximately one to two inches, but you never know because guess what? It's Fredericksburg and the weather just does not like to cooperate for us. So be on the lookout Friday highs in the mid, mid to lower 30s, which will yield some of that wintry mix. On Saturday, we are looking at highs in the low to mid 50s. And again, it's going to be raining in our area, but it shouldn't be any of that wintry mix on Saturday. Sunday, again, we need to be on the lookout. Sunday night for that wintry mix again, we are only looking at highs in the low to mid 40s. So we're going to see that up and down temperature in the Fredericksburg region. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what to tell you. The weather is driving us all a little bit crazy. Don't put away that winter coat. You're going to need it because next week looks to be quite the roller coaster with precipitation yet again. All right, that's all I've got for weather. I'm Kara Colucci with CBTV News. Have a great week. We'll be right, right back. back. <laughs>